Welcome to part five of this video guide on how to create a user table. Now that we have both a submission form and the report created, I'd like to pass or protect them both so only authenticated users can access the functionality. To do so, we'll need to create a user table. Let's go back to tables and begin developing our second table. Same as before, the best practice is to add a unique field at the very top, and I'll do so by creating a user ID field. I'll set it as random ID data type. Next, I'll include name, email. I'll also make this field unique because you'll never have two different users with the same email. Emails are always going to be unique. Let's add password. We'll change this to a special data type called password. This will encrypt the password on the table level. Let's have account login. And we'll set that as a checkbox data type to allow administrators to make users active or inactive. Now let's save the table, cm underscore tbl underscore users, and then click finish. Now that we have our table listed, let's open it and quickly add two sample users to our table. Notice that I made one user active and the other one inactive. Next, let's create a view that's going to filter out all of the active users. I'll click New, move the user table to the right, and continue. I'll then click on the Criteria tab and move the field element to the right. From the dropdown, I will select the checkbox field and flag that it's checked, meaning anyone in my table that's checked as active will be displayed inside the view. Let's click Finish, click Open to verify, and you will now see how only one of the users is displayed inside the view. From the back end, we can control who is active and who is inactive, meaning whoever is active later on will be able to log into the application. Join me in the next video where I show you how to create a login screen that allows only active users to log into the application. I'll see you there.